And perhaps this guy will stand atop the podium at some point. It is Carter Storacci, redshirt freshman out of Erie, Pennsylvania Cathedral Prep. It's this guy's been on fire, TJ. Yeah, it's certainly a next Nittany Lion up uh, with the, the lineup that they've been putting in. Uh, we're in about the third or fourth generation in, uh, since uh, 2011 or so, and they're just really good at wrestling. They know that they're better in most spots, and so they just, when they force their wrestling, they know they're going to come out on top, and it's just a, it's a mentality, it's an expectation, and uh, it's something that's... Uh, Fun to watch. Hey! Two reds, two reds! Phil Spanafora, the redshirt junior out of Dix Hills, New York. We saw his brother Jonathan at 165. Phil Spanafora on the board, 2 0. Yeah, you got to take advantage when uh, you uh, catch a mistake there. Mr. Rachi was just missed on the tricep there. And. Uh, Spanafora, an NCAA qualifier for Maryland last year, was 17 and 16, above 500. In on the single leg there. Nice job of coming out from the other side and driving through. But Spanafora's got that right arm trapped. He's looking for a stalemate. Nothing. And Starachi's going to look for some danger uh, zone points. Danger red. Looking to break danger that 90, two. as you said. Danger two. Danger two. Three. And there's the takedown. Good call, TJ. Uh, 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 Starachi knew exactly what he was doing. He was uh, limited there with that leg trap, but he knew he could uh, get Spotafora into that danger zone. Effective and got the two points. You hear the official identify danger and then the color. And then they get to a three count, and it's two takedown. Starachi up three to two. A minute 20 showing here in this first period. Spanafora for Half Hollow Hills East was a three-time New York State qualifier, two-time placer. Wrestled the past couple of years at the Big Ten Championships for Maryland. And we're 3-3 three, three with just over a minute remaining in the first. Storacci, of course, Big Ten Wrestler of the Week honors following that win against Logan Massa of Michigan. It was on Valentine's Day, and he followed that up this past Friday, beating Caleb Romero 2-1, and they really needed him there in that position, TJ. He stepped up. Yeah, Storacci right here stepped up as he uh, caught Spotafora, leaning forward, dropped underneath, drove through for the takedown. Track wrestling individual rankings at 174. Starachi vaults up to number four this week from seven. Big Ten with six of the top seven, led by Michael Kemmer and Michael Labriola, one and two for Iowa and Nebraska. Starachi looking for some near fall. Back to his base in Spadafora. Late in the first period. Yeah, you can tell they work a lot in the room at Penn State, wrestling on top, using the legs, a lot of pressure here. They do such a good job on top, looking for the uh, the tilts, the near falls. Spadafora gets on the board uh, first when, uh, uh, yeah, yep, he just missed the leg there, and Spadafora anticipated and jumped on top for the two. But here's. Here's uh, Storacci knowing exactly where he's at, looking for the uh, danger zone, getting at the call for two, coming around on the legs for the takedown. Spoke about it before with RBY when he gave up a takedown as well, and was the case with Storacci. Giving up some points because they're creating some action, and every now and then you get scored on, but that doesn't bother these guys. They just keep on wrestling the next position. You worry about scoring some points. You give up a takedown, so be it. Keep on wrestling. Well, and that's it's not just Penn State, it's everyone at this level. You know, you gotta love the sport. You talk about a lot, Shane. And when you love the sport, you're freed up to wrestle in the way that you were talking about there. Hey, get taken down, great. This is part of it. I get to be more creative. I get to work on things that uh, I, I like to work on in the room. You know, so often if you just you're, you're saying, I'm not going to get taken down in any practice. Well, you're you're keeping yourself from, you know, the creativity uh, that uh, the opportunity you have if you go in and work on every part. Nice job there. Another double leg by Starachi. Two points takedown. Has those wrists 
Look at Spadafora, elbows were out. Riding time nearing two minutes as Starachi gives the escape to the Terp, seven to five. Starachi, Cadet Greco and freestyle national champion, was a junior freestyle All-American, all kinds of accolades up and down this Penn State lineup. Nice job by Spadafora there, getting that whizzer in, keeping Starachi from scoring at the edge. Morning, Red. Yeah, this is Durachi doing a nice job of owning the center. Now he knows where he's at, trying to get the take down there. But uh, Starachi moves side to side well, continues to take uh, territory, but uh, really is owning the center. It's just, you know, it's coming so easy for Penn State right now, and Starachi just uh, continuing to uh, take territory forward. He's going to get the stall call again on Spotafero. Had a front headlock, now he drops down. He's got 15 seconds. Yeah, nice job by uh, Strachi of uh, wheeling back into the, uh, uh, the, the mat area so that he could get the two takedown. He knew exactly where he was, and he came back onto the mat and got the two while uh, Spotafora was still on the mat. Nice uh, mat awareness by that young man. Of course, Storacci at 174 taking over for another Penn State great in Mark Hall. Mark Hall now training at the Pennsylvania Regional Training Center, but I know Storacci and Hall still very close, communicate frequently. Yeah, this last takedown by Storacci, I really liked his mat awareness here. So he drops in, so he's just dropping in. But he realizes that he needs to have his legs. He, he never leaves, his hand's still in. Now he comes out and drops in for the takedown. So it's really nice knowing where he was at. Good match savvy by the uh, young Nittany Lion. And you saw him last year, TJ, win the Southern Scuffle as a red shirt. Yeah, I'm going, who is this guy? Of course, I'm looking at him, I'm watching him because he's a red shirt from Penn State. And uh, he walked through that uh, Southern Scuffle and it was a very impressive win down there in Chattanooga. Last year's a red shirt, 18 and 0, 14 of those victories, bonus points. green, a little quick. Yeah, I'm hoping that we can get back to normal next year. Have those Midlands and the Southern Scuffle. And Cliff Keen. Yes, yes. And so we get to see such good wrestling. And, uh, and I think everybody's going to be more excited than ever uh, to uh, participate in those classic uh, tournaments. Two more as Storacci frees his ankle. Riding time nearing two minutes. Controlling all aspects of this match here at 174. Yes, Tarachi just a uh, spot spot of four isn't in great position. Tarachi's just kind of moving and dropping in on the legs, executing and getting the take there. Again, just dropped in. Not a lot of defense. Here's the shin whizzer, but uh, Tarachi coming up now. He's going to extend, anticipates. Spadafora rolls through, grabs an ankle. Storacci needs another takedown to get a major. You know, so situation right here, if you're Spadafora, just for personal pride, fight as hard as you can. Try to keep this to a regular decision. Easier said than done, of course, as there is two more for the young Nittany Lion. Another bonus point victory, it appears, for Penn State. As Storacci slides a leg in, goes crossbody in the final seconds of this contest. Yeah, workman like there. Storacci gets a little bit of a different uh, look as he's won the last two times uh, right at the end, and uh, this one was a little easier for him. Major decision for the fourth ranked 174 pounder in the country, Carter Storacci.